Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Friday, November 8th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. The weekend starter, we got Friday Night Lights, four college football games coming your way, all nationally televised games. So let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Your college football NFL picks for this weekend. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. 8 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific in the ACC. On ACC Network, it's Cal, the Golden Bears, at Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons. Cal is a minus 7-point road favorite, 54.5 being the total. Both teams coming in 4-4 and and off of the bye week. Um, Cal just played, what, 44-7 two weeks ago. Their last game against Oregon State looked really good. Now, granted, they are 0-4 in ACC conference play. But when you look at their loss, their losses, one point loss to Miami, one point loss to NC State, two point loss to Pitt and a five point loss to FSU early in the season. I like this Cal Golden Bears team. I think the bye week helps with the travel. This is a Cal team. I think this is their last trip of the season. Nineteen thousand miles in travel. I mean, that's pretty crazy. But I do think the bye week helps with that. Plus the fact, I mean, it's a soft landing in in Winston-Salem. This Wake Forest team is 0-4 at home. Clemson blew them out. Ole Miss blew them out. They also lost to a Sunbelt team in Louisiana. They lost to Virginia at home. I think Cal's the side here, guys. Not a best bet by any means, but minus seven flat. Let's jump on the Golden Bears as the the touchdown road favorite to lead us off Friday Night Lights. Next one up, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific. It's Iowa and UCLA. This one on Fox from the Rose Bowl, Pasadena, California. The Hawkeyes, minus six-point road favorites, 44 and a hook being the total. Iowa comes in six and three on the season. UCLA just three and five. But really the story here, guys, the way I want to attack this is totals. 44 and a half is a pretty low total in uh, modern-day college football. In Iowa, the Hawkeyes, This is a lot different offense than years past. I mean, they're scoring some points. They actually scored 40-plus points the last two games. They're 8-1 to the over. If it's not broken, don't fix it. We talked about it on yesterday's show. And UCLA themselves, they're actually playing better overall. That's what's keeping me off the Iowa minus 6 side. I did kind of like them, but um, I'm going after this from a totals, guys. Total standpoint, UCLA back-to-back road wins, playing better against Nebraska and Rutgers coming back home. I think they're going to continue to score. I mean, in the last two games, they hit the over by seven touchdowns combined. I think they're being underpriced from a total standpoint. Their offense playing better. We've we, we've seen it with Iowa's offense, eight and one to the over. I think we get into the 50s here, guys. 44 and a half is too low. Hawkeyes and Bruins in the Rose Bowl. We're going up and over Friday Night Lights on Fox. Next one up, ESPN2. It's Rice and Memphis from the Liberty Bowl in Memphis, Tennessee, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific start. It does look like Memphis minus nine. Actually, it was nine, nine and a half when I was uh, getting prepped for the show. Now I'm seeing just eight and a half now. So uh, taking some Rice money here, 51 being the total. I agree with this kind of later move as I'm actually talking Thursday in the five o'clock Pacific time zone. So, um, yeah, we have seen a slight move here about a point in the last hour or so. So Rice plus eight and a half. That's what we're going to go with in this one, guys. Their head coach, Mike Blue, and he got fired what two weeks ago, the end of October. The team came out in the next game. This is something you got to watch in sports betting, you know, finding change. And going from that point forward, that is a great way to win in this business. And and the head coach getting fired is a change you want to be paying attention to. Sometimes these teams come out and play a lot better, different scheme. They actually won last week outright as a two-touchdown underdog against Navy. So we're going to look to kind of ride that here. That's what I think this push is on the move towards the Rice (laughs) Owls. 7-2 and Memphis, not a terrible season, but against the spread, They have really not been covering numbers. They lost three straight against the number. They've lost five of six against the number. So they've been burning some some cash. Last week, they they played UTSA in the Alamo Dome. That was a pretty beat up UTSA team. They've dealt with a lot of injuries. They they lost outright as the favorite. They're just one in five against the spread. The last six as a favorite. I think this number is too tall, guys. I think the dog is barking here. We're jumping on the Rice Owls. Now just plus eight and a half 
um, across the marketplace. We got one one game left. Friday Night Lights uh, Degenerate Special, if you will. It's 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. A reminder, if you could uh, comment below. Anything is welcome, guys. Agree, disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the uh, alv- algorithm kind of growing the show here. Smashing that like button um, helps as well. We got uh, Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, Drew Martin Experts page. The Saturday All Access Package is up and available. You get uh, you get a discounted package there. We'll be in with the Sunday card as well. And Friday Night Lights, best bet, up and available. So, uh, yeah, go check that out, guys. And we got... Uh, the nightcap here, FS1, Fox Sports 1, 1030 Eastern. It's New Mexico and San Diego State Mountain West Conference battle here with the Aztecs. Minus two in the hook at home, 66 being the total. Snapdragon Stadium, San Diego, California. The Lobos come in just three and six on the season. Up against San Diego State, what, three and five on the year. I like this from a total standpoint, guys. Uh, first off, New Mexico, 7-2 and two to the over. They're kind of like all gas, no breaks. They just look to score a bunch. Good offense. Uh, they're lacking on defense, though. They just let up 49 points to the Wyoming Cowboys. When was the last time Wyoming scored nearly 50 points in a game? It's probably when Josh, Josh Allen was uh, taking snaps for him. Uh, I don't remember that point total from Wyoming. So that speaks to New Mexico's defense here. Now they're going up against San Diego State. They've had their troubles, you know, particularly on defense. They just let up 56 points last week to Boise State. Unfortunately, that was the game we talked, I I think it was last Friday's show, and we took the loss, taking a chance on them. But we're not going to bet them sideways here. We're jumping on this total, guys, because their last two games, they lost to Boise State and Washington State. But, I mean, those are two really good teams. Washington State only has one loss on the season. Boise State, they're going to make their case to, to get a playoff bid. Um, I, I kind of like San Diego State here playing some better football, but even more so, guys, going back to the New Mexico defense, we're going to get a lot of plays in this game, too. I mean, San Diego State, their head coach, Sean Lewis, might remember him in the uh, MAC conference, always a, a, a fast-paced offense. He was the OC for a little bit in Colorado. Um, three of their last four games have gone over. Uh, I think they're going to let up some points defensively. You know, it's Southern California. Don't have to worry too much about weather in this one. So let's go Lobos and Aztecs in the nightcap, getting us ready for the Saturday card over 66, guys. That's going to do it for the Friday show. In recap, we're on New Mexico, San Diego State, over 66. Rice and Memphis, we're on the underdog, plus eight and a half on Rice. I think Memphis not covering numbers are a little bit overrated in that one. We got Iowa UCLA, low total. It's too low, 44 and a half. We're going to the over in Cal, minus seven to start us off against Wake Forest. Four games in the books. We'll be back with the Saturday card. Come back and join us. Until then, I'm Drew Martin checking out. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.